In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a navigation bar in Notion using global blocks. Okay, navigation bars are really useful when you have loads of pages and you want to navigate between them without having to press back all the time or using the sidebar. Let's add in our pages first. This I'm going to rename to home and then I'm just going to convert these into pages like so. Okay, so there we have all our pages. Now navigation bars can look all kind of ways. So my favorite look is a call out. So here I'm just going to type all of our pages. So I've written universe, but let's start with home and I'm going to separate each uh, page link using this dot here. If you're on Mac, it is command control and plus to bring up this and then just type in dot. So there we have all of our um, pages here. So now it's time to link. So essentially we're copying the link of the page and we're just going to paste it over the word that we've written for the link. In Notion you can copy the link of a Notion page and paste it over a existing word without it getting rid of it. It is the short way of using this. People who have downloaded my Animal Crossing workspace will know that the navigation bar is vital to the use of that workspace, at least for me anyway. So now that we've added links to all of our pages, we're going to actually make this global. We're going to copy the link of this block, copy link. And then I'm going to go into a browser. So I've actually got the a browser version of this exact workspace. Okay. Um, and I'm going to paste the link that we just took of this call out here. And I'm not going to press enter. I'm actually going to delete from the forward slash to the hashtag, including the hashtag. I'm going to delete all of that. I'm going to select it all and copy it. So I've just pressed command C there and I'm going to paste it into one of these pages. So you need to make sure that you're not pasting it into a page where it already exists because it's just going to replace where it is. So here I'm in university, paste the link and I'm going to press link to page. So it says link to page, but it's actually linking to this block now. So when I go into home, here it is again. So I can just easily go between the two and then say I'm in university and I actually want to go to recipes. I don't have to come out to home anymore. I can just go to recipes. Um, obviously we need to add it into recipes so that we can um, exit recipes when we want. So now I'm going to show you how it is um, global or at least what global means. So here I've written lol. In recipes, lol appears there. It's similar to how um, everything appeared here, but yeah, so if I get rid of lol now and I go into recipes, lol is gone. So this is really useful for when you're adding in more pages. Like I say, film tracker, you don't want to have to go through every single page, write film tracker and then add in the link to film tracker. It's just going to take so long. If you do this once, this whole process once, it's going to save you so much time in the future. Um, if you do go and add in more stuff. So yeah. So yeah, that is how to make a global block in Notion. So the difference between this and duplicating. So let's just let's just demonstrate. So I write lol here. Nothing happens on our global block. Nowhere else has that. So that's why duplicating is not the same and you have to do this process. It's not even that lengthy and it will just save you so much time in the future. So yeah, I will leave a template to this, a link in the description. So if you want to check this one out, you can use this already. You can, if you haven't got a workspace yet, this could be the beginning <laughs> of your Notion um, life. All right, cool. So thank you for watching. Here we are in the app. There we go. Yeah, so thanks for watching. I hope you found this useful um, and it'd be cool to see you implement this in your workspace.